Greg Madhill is a principal with the Toronto-based company Upper Canada Adjusters Incorporated and has over 25 years experience in the industry. He shares his thoughts about the state of the independent adjusting fraternity in Canada. The independent adjusting fraternity is healthy. Uh, there is, um, you know, there will always be room in the marketplace for adjusters with expertise who handle various um, different types of losses outside of what a normal uh, company adjuster would see based on either their complexity, their size, or their location. Uh, so there will always be room for an independent adjusting firm. Uh, in the Toronto marketplace it's a bit different because of the, the, the number of exposures that are here and the, the complexity of the risks that are here. We're not seeing the same kind of claims as you would in you know, small town Ontario simply because they don't have the extent of the manufacturing or the industrial or, the, or for that matter the commercial sector. Staffing uh, is the biggest concern. Um, as indicated previously, we have a lot of people who've retired. Uh, there was a long period of time where the independent adjusting business uh, fell off. The mindset of the insurance companies was to keep a lot of stuff in-house so that a lot of adjusters either left the business entirely or uh, went and worked for staff adjusters and have not come back into the independent fraternity. So what we're left with is a, is a, is a uh, disproportionate level of experience within the average independent adjusting firm. So you've got people that have been in, in the business a long time, you've got this huge gap where people, where there's no one that has say 10 to 20 years experience and then you've got a large number of people that are, are, are new to the business. So as the older principals are retiring or leaving the business, it's not instantaneous to replace them simply because they're not there. And there's this, there's this void in experience. Uh, we are seeing an impact on the nationals um, you know, as, as they consolidate. There are fewer and fewer national adjusting firms as the firms continue to merge. Um, and that strictly relates to their desire to, to capture market. But that really has limited impact on the small one-off owner-operated uh, independent office, which really remains the backbone of the IA in, in Canada.